be losing stocks very early. And Inkling, not the lightest, but certainly not even close to the heaviest character in this game. And button check, yeah, certainly a button check right now. Just testing the movement, making sure everything feels right in their hands. And both of these guys, really mobile, movement heavy players. You didn't get to see it shine through so much for Cosmos in the last game because of how slow Corrin is on paper, but that said, he still made her look pretty quick, yeah. all things considered. And now that he has a very fast kind of dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge character like Inkling, we can see the, the true ability he has in controlling a character. Mm -hmm. Both players readying up. Oh, and Cosmos with the costume switch. I don't believe he played this one in the button check. I think he played the blonde one. Yeah, he played the, the yellow one with the... Yeah. With the interesting little outfit. Okay, yeah, gonna get that rapid jab, inking Mr. E up. That's gonna make him hurt even more with every following hit until that falls off of him. And Cosmos, definitely the type of player to keep the ink on you, juice every bit of damage off of his exchanges. Great tech race there for Mr. E with the falling up air to get the neutral get up. Yeah, great series of juggles coming out from Mr. E right there. Now, one of the crucial things with Roller in that position, of course, not only is Roller known for its berry properties, which of course allow you to get those kill confirms, but the ink that it places on the ground, of course, slows the opponent down, preventing them to be, uh, preventing them from uh, successfully chasing you afterwards. Oh, Cosmos rolling right out of the way of that back air. But such a close game so far. The kill power differential here, I would give this to uh, slightly to Mr. E, yep. yeah. But of course, once the roller connects, anything's possible. Great parry though on the getup attack. All right, definitely gonna go off stage, try and get that forward air. Oh, stays on, catch the back air and gets the KO. Looks like Mr. E was trying a ledge hop neutral air. Cosmos aiming for the head, knowing that Lucina's open at that straight up angle. Such distance on that inkling recovery. That's, uh, the spot jump so, so good. So much ink now on Mr. E. Make those hits even chunkier, extend his lead further. But of course, we're not gonna see the up throw come out from Lucina until about 180 or 190% in this game, even against the likes of inkling. So opting for back throw just to throwing thing off stage, get some map control here. Very nice use of the splatter shot right there, just to kind of push Mr. E into a range that he didn't feel comfortable with. And he managed to get a follow-up from there. Now Cosmos riding this wave of momentum. Yeah, the splat bomb, that delayed explosion, so good for set play, so good for inking the opponent as well. And that forward throw, same could be said. Two stock lead now for Cosmos. What started as a very even game has resulted in Mr. E not being able to find that one KO and Cosmos riding it all the way. Oh, wow, maybe up throw still won't even kill for Lucina, but I think the next one will off the next grab. This is, of course, on back into the high ceiling for the back air. More than enough to take the KO right there. Mr. E with a lot of work cut out for him right now. What does Cosmos have to say? How far we be able to keep him out? But the up throw up airs, of course, not at kill confirmed percent, but still a reliable follow up. No punish on the dancing blade. I mean, he's just a bit too stubby. Right, good of Mr. E to swing in these sorts of situations just to keep Cosmos away from him, allowing him to uh, break out of disadvantage in these key situations. That said, though, there's still quite a lot of work that he needs to do. Oh, that could have been a forward smash. Mr. E was a bit more aware that directional air dodge to the edge, especially from above it, does have some openings in it. Oh, oh and here we go. Yep. Yep. Very easy. Bread and butter, roller into the up smash from Inkling. Yeah, it's going to kill no matter how you slice it. And was it you that told me that any character who is Mario's weight or lighter, or maybe just lighter than Mario, will get picked up out of the grounded state by the first hit of up smash, but anybody heavier will not? Um, I, yeah, I believe that's the case. Um, I think I'm you, not, you told me that though, Evahala, maybe. Maybe it was someone else. I, I, I'm I, aware that heavier characters don't get pulled out of the ground, but I'm not sure what the weight threshold is. Right, okay. Yep. Either way, um, of course, Lucina 
being underneath that weight threshold is yep. going to get picked up mm -hmm. right out of the ground. And we're going to see Cosmos with a fairly dominant game one finish there. What started off again so close between these guys. Just you saw Cosmos pull ahead, keep riding the wave. Mr. E with a chance to respond. He's going to go to Marth. Okay, I think Lucina was doing fine, but that said, he couldn't find those kills. And maybe he's just banking on his ability to land the tippers, close these stocks out a little bit earlier. Repeated hitboxes. Not gonna make it easy for Inkling to get in, get those touches that she needs to keep the combos going. Ooh, tipper forward till I like that. Just swatting Inkling out of the air. That is this character's biggest weakness, their lack of range. Of course, the mobility makes up for it. Again, fairly similar to Wario or Pichu. They might not have the biggest hitboxes, but they're quick enough to mitigate that. Absolutely. Wait for your opponent to swing and get the whiff punish once you've gotten out of the way. Going really low for that edge guard attempt. Up throw into the up air. Good DI coming out from Mr. E, surviving uh, the combo. Cosmo seeing that he's out of that range and immediately going for that back air. One of the small handful of the very disjointed moves that Inkling has. Oh, the neutral air, not gonna be a tipper. That could have been the stock, and so could that forward tilt, but Mr. E just a bit too far away. The slants on the stage, I feel like, have messed up so many players' spacing just by a little bit. Yes. Have to account for the slight vertical difference. Definitely difficult to do that at times. Mr. E back on the board here. Was a dead even game for a second, but then Cosmos came out swinging, linking those aerials together so well. You know that Inkling anagrams to linking, so it's only natural that these characters oh have God. a ton of combos. Yep, of course they would. Oh, gets the back here, yes. Sniffing out that roll in for Mr. E on the platform. Just almost desperate to get back to center stage, but now that he's done that, this could be good for him. Have to see some tippers come through. Forward tilt near the edge may do it even as early as 90 here. Of course, Splat Splat bomb getting stuck on the platform there, so that ledge trapping not as strong as Cosmos would have liked. We're near the percent where we could see a back throw shut Mr. E out here. Yep, especially in the corner. Not quite from center stage, uh, that back throw not super strong. Yeah, definitely not from center. Yep, even with a little extra percent on it, but if we see Cosmo keep the lead traps up, manage to cross him up in the corner. Of course, you have to forfeit stage control to do that. Whoa, Superb hold up. Superb counter coming out from Misty. He really, really needed that. You know, he was inked. He was off stage. That was a perfect opportunity for Cosmos to feel comfortable in thinking that he could go for that edge guard. But there's definitely a bit of a sense of urgency on Cosmos' part to close that stock out, seeing all the rage from Marth, knowing how much KO power he has. And Mr. E, of course, a player who can land those tippers and finish your stocks off. As a result, we have a dead even game versus these two competitors. Cosmos, of course, 1-0 up, so Mr. E will need to take this stock here if he wants to remain on the winner's side. Wow, oh, all that so damage from the ink. 42% off a jab, and he's been fully inked as well. Oh, man. 79% off of essentially two jabs. Yeah, I think there's like one light hit in the middle of that, but basically two jabs doing all of the damage there. My goodness, up throw, it doesn't get the forward air. Maybe wanted the up air in that situation. Oh, and barely standing up right through that down smash. Mr. E with another fighting chance. Two tipper up airs into each other, almost the third. All right, now well, this is an important situation for Mr. E. Cosmos is currently out of ink, and as a result, he's going to, uh, he's limited in what kind of moves that he can really focus on. Yes, he no needs. smashes, no specials. Oh, well, very weak uh, up smash, right? The forward smash still does the same thing. Pretty sure. Either way, he got a little bit of a charge there. Now he's back in business. Is he going deep? That might be the end of him, and it is! Excellent reverse edge guard from Cosmos, and that'll be the set to him. 2-0. And good on Cosmos for being able to tech after the dramatic finish. Could have messed up his own timing if he got stage spiked, you know, by a super strong move. Mm. May have ricocheted him off before Mr. E died from the back air. Of course, that was not the case. Mr. E gonna drop 0-2 to Cosmos, but still a very respectable showing.